What is up, people? We've just had a very crazy, crazy day at the cinema. We're so whacked, we're so tired, but we need to get into this review for you guys. And yes, it is the Kabul review. We're going to do a quick breakdown. What's up, Ravi? <laughs> You're really all right. We're going to do a quick breakdown review for you guys to let you guys know our thoughts, our feelings about how we felt about this film. So I think the best thing to do is maybe just start with the story, kind of. You guys know what it's about. Blind dude, blind girl. Blind girl gets raped twice by a bad guy and then Hittik Roshan uh, decides to like cause havoc on them all. Revenge. Revenge, yeah. Anyway, so look, let's be serious a minute. Let's break it down. Dude, what did you think of the actual, the actual story itself? We're always serious. We, we, we try to be. Um, it's a revenge movie where the girl... I mean, it's, it's a sad story. Uh, look, the issue with the film isn't the story itself. The issue with the film is it has no foundation. Um... Their love kind of just happens. Uh, there's some nice lines about, you know, being blind when she goes missing and all that kind of stuff. But the, the story itself is fine. It's just a vehicle for Eric Degroschen to become, you know, a vengeful hero. But I think that if it had some origin, like it gave us some foundation as to why he's blind or what his backstory is, then we would have had a, a much more complete story. But overall... It's fine. It wasn't anything special. There was no particular reason why he was a badass, yeah. blind daredevil fighting machine. No, no, I, I agree. I felt that the, the I, we, it's a discussion that we were having when we walked out of the cinema that the second half of the film did pick up when it came down to the revenge, the revenge side of things. But still, they just didn't feel like... I think my biggest concern with the story was it. there was... Um, it just didn't. It just didn't lift itself in the way that we were hoping it would. I mean, there's a lot to sort of talk about here. I mean, especially when it comes down to the directing side of things. I personally feel that Sanjay Gupta. You know what? I I saw. There's a couple of films that I picked up on that I saw when it comes down to directing. Um, I saw a few bits here and there. Obviously, that's his style. That's what he does anyway. But I personally felt a little let down with the directing. You were okay with it, right? No. You weren't, you weren't okay? I thought you were okay with the directing. No. Uh, it had some decent shots, but that doesn't mean it was good directing. It just means you chose some interesting shots. Um, th th there are significant uh, issues with the direction. Um you know, sometimes you get given a script and the director's job is to translate that script into film, but it doesn't mean you just kind of ignore what it takes to direct a good story and direct good characters. The characters were okay, I guess, but um, I didn't find it particularly compelling. And I thought that technically it actually wasn't that great. It was tried to be creative at a few points, but yeah. I didn't think it was that great. I think um, my biggest concern was that it just didn't feel believable enough. I couldn't get into the thought process of actually seeing this guy. Everything that he did, I couldn't sort of... I felt that, wait a minute, I was being cheated because of the fact that it just didn't feel real to me. It just didn't feel... It didn't feel believable, especially when we got, like, a crazy bunch of bad guys. They are crazy. Freaking raping a girl twice. And a blind girl at that. It just wasn't believable, and that my is my personal biggest problem with the film. Uh, if there was a, a bit more of a, a backstory, if you like, with some sort of training and the reason for why he can do what he can do, rather than just doing it because he can, um, uh, would have been would have been better. Yeah, and that kind of actually theme of the day. We've seen two films today. We will review the other one in a video shortly after this one. Um, but that seems to be the theme of the day. Heroes who can do stuff without any reason for them being able to do stuff. Um, but that was a, a big problem in this. Um, look, you're right, the second half was better than the first. Is it worth the hour and 20 before the second half starts? I don't personally think so. This is by no means a return to form for Riddick Roshan. He was fine. Um, but I don't think he was particularly great. Oh, you didn't. Uh, you didn't think his performance was all that. It was. It was fine. You know, he's been. He's been fine. Like Mahendra Dara was fine. Um, 
but I don't think either of them were iconic or great performances. This was a good opportunity, a good opportunity to try something a bit different. Uh, and I feel like he was just Ritik Roshan looking off to the left. Yeah. What about any song numbers that particularly stood out? Um, not for me. No? No, I didn't think anything was iconic, but you yeah. really liked it. Yeah, you? the club. I liked the club song. Um, I thought that was pretty good. Um, but, you know, guys, we're going to wrap this up. We want to hear back from you guys. Just let us know what you thought of the film. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, put it down in the comment section. want to really read your comments down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may want to do that. Join us on Twitter. It's Autumn. Peace.